Gemini, welcome to your monthly reading for March of 2022. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's an honor to have you here on our channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want continuous updates in love and in life for your highest possible good through the power of unconditional love to help you find your purpose, find your true self, and get to your path. We'd love to have you as part of the Soul Family. Hit that subscribe button. And also, if you enjoy this content, do me a favor, hit that like button and share your experience in the comments below. We have an amazing community of souls who are here to grow, to find their person, and to find their purpose here in this particular lifetime. Let's go ahead and re get right into the reading. Um, open the ceremony here and now to the power of unconditional love for the sign of Gemini for March of 2022. Inviting in the angels and guides, loved ones and masters and wise ones, beings of unconditional love and light only, who have the highest possible intentions through the power of unconditional love for the sign of Gemini for March of 2022. What messages do we have today? We have the full card coming up first. <clears throat> there may be a, a thing in your life, Gemini, that um, you're afraid to take a leap of faith in or that you're needing to take a leap of faith in. But the first thing I get is that it's, it's time to move forward. It's time to really step into something new. It's time to not hold back anymore. And it's really time to give everything you got to a certain thing in your life, whether that's a person, a job, a career, a business. But the time is now where the energy is being called forth, where you're being called to step into something that's a little bit risky, a little bit scary, but that's going to have tremendous rewards for you down the road and down the line. And uh, that's going to be very, very rewarding as well if you manage to say yes and if you manage to brave the fears that might come up when you were asked to do this particular thing. Two of Cups coming out next. This might be a relationship. Are you being called into a real, actual, divine, reciprocal, and aligned relationship at this particular time? Is it something that you are unfamiliar with because of how good and how amazing it is that you're a little bit unsure of how to navigate it? Is it really real? Is it really possible? Am I going to be successful with it? Uh, is it going to work out okay? The answer is yes, if you believe and if you go all in here and now and don't let the opportunity pass you by. Ace of Wands is here as well. There's a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, a lot of connection you might have with someone right now in your life or that you might be feeling generally. There's a lot of sexual attraction between you two as well. And there's a lot of spark that would create a lot of fire, a lot of action, and a lot of potential between you two as well. The world card is here, three of wands and death card. So there's an old part of you, possibly an old, the death of an old relationship or something that was not aligned. Or what I'm really more strongly getting is there's an old part of you that was not willing to commit, that was not willing to go all in or to risk it all, that was not really fully aligned with their true self that is dying or ending at this particular point in time in order to be ready to go all into something uh, much more aligned, much better, uh, much more fruitful for your path. The world card with the fool, if you can manage to simply allow yourself fully to dive in, to let go of all restraints and to not hold back, everything will be yours. Everything and more is what I'm hearing. Three of Wands with the Ace of Wands. But it does require a bit of a commitment, a long-term designation of your path and a long-term vision as well that's coming into fruition here and now that involves a grander vision, a part of you that involves a grander vision. Four of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Four of Wands. Our finances are concerned right now. Are they holding you back from being more involved, more in love, and more uh, reciprocated within your love relationships or intimate relationships or relationships generally? Are you in a place where you might be finding your own inner way, your own inner happiness, and finding out how to navigate both those worlds of money, inner happiness, and relationships, and time? Four of Wands here says, your destiny is to say yes to, and that will bring in long-term love and fulfillment. The Four of Wands here right in the middle. This is a union, a marriage, a family, and everything. But you're going to have to make a choice, and that choice is whether or not you are ready to let go of the past version of what you felt relationships were or a past relationship generally and choose to commit to a new vision of what relationships can be. Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Um, you may also be learning how to really be confident in your own self, to receive what is yours, to know how to attract money in effortlessly, and to call that money in and forth. 
Uh, what I'm seeing here is it takes a commitment in order to receive the funds that you are looking for. In order to receive effortlessly, it takes commitment and it takes belief and faith. That's the two calling cards for you right now, Gemini. Uh, faith and commitment and belief in what can be in order to receive income, finances, money right now. Queen of Wands with the Death card. Um, yes, old version of you, maybe an, too much of an independent version of you or someone who thought that they could do it all on their own or thought that they didn't need anyone else or thought that maybe that they would enjoy life more just being on their own and being flirtatious and having flings. You're finding that that old version is no longer suiting. Empress card is here. So an opportunity <clears throat> within your from within your feminine energy to step into something greater. And that is really around your worth and your worthiness, both in relationships as well as when it comes to finances and money. The true empress never uh, needs. She never lacks. She never uh, has a lack of anything in her life. And it's an energy of gaining and experiencing everything that she's meant to gain and experience at this time. That is what you are stepping into. And that's what the choice involves as well. Ten of Swords with the Six of Cups. Six of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. There's an old version of you, though, possibly connected to an old relationship or a vision of what could have been or what was or something you thought you were or something you thought you wanted that is no longer suitable for you that must and did come to an end. I'm also getting that it took the end of a hard relationship or a vision of something that ended abruptly here that caused you to wake up and to realize what you truly wanted and what you truly deserved. Possibly you had to be given some of your own medicine as well in order to realize that um, that which you truly are worth and that which you truly are. Page of Cups and the Empress, you're no longer taking half breadcrumb full cups that are not worthy of you. You're learning to discern between what is worthy of you and what is not, what is a half cup, what is a full cup, and really what is aligned with you in this particular lifetime. Six of Pentacles and Six of Cups says you're looking for cherished type of love, generous type of love, and something that's going to continuously fulfill both within itself, itself and also you in the process of that and nothing further than that, nothing different from that. It's very important that you know and realize this truth at this particular time, Gemini. We have Nine of Wands, Final Outcome Cards, Judgment, King of Swords. So there is a final decision to be made here. There's a judgment. There's a, uh, a test of sorts, we can say. Judgment here with the King of Swords, what I'm getting. It's almost like you have to see for yourself and experience for yourself what someone here is willing to be or do. Um, they, it's almost like they're going through a test of fire, someone in your life potentially, about what they are made of and what they're willing to say yes to, what they're willing to say no to, and what they're deciding their future will be to. So there's someone else here as well involved. There's you, there's them. All of it's going to be lead to a big decision or it's going to lead to a big um, breaking point is what I see when it comes to the future of you two together as well as um, their life and your life individually. Okay, um, Let me shuffle for final three advice cards here. Very interesting reading, I would say, for Scorpio for March 2022. By the way, if you want the extended reading, that is in the description box below. We're going to be going more in-depth into your person, how they feel, their insights, their feelings, their mind, their heart, their soul in this particular situation. So definitely check out the description box below, <clears throat> as well as if you want a personal reading, et cetera, et cetera. Final three advice cards are the 10 of wands, the seven of wands, and the six of wands here. So it looks like you will come out victorious. They're saying to have faith that you will always come out victorious should you be willing to fight for what you believe in now and put in the work uh, towards fighting what you believe in and fighting for what you believe in for yourself most importantly and for other people but for yourself first is what they're saying um, you will you will there's nothing that can stop you from being victorious in who you are naturally it's you becoming that and speaking out that with all of your heart and all of your belief in this particular moment that allows you to feel that success that fulfillment that money coming in and that true love as well fulfilling those parts of you that might have been hurt from the past and a final three cards to end this reading. We have the Three of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and wow, what a final card to come out, the Lovers. Um, so there may be some type of apology coming in for you. 
um, some type of reuniting three of cups here with the page of pentacles um, it could be someone that you were in a little bit of a split with or someone that uh, is is was from your past potentially or just someone that you haven't felt as close with i would say and um there's a bit of a uh, a recognition here a bit of an apology a bit of a uh, uniting with this person with this energy um that is going to set things right and it's going to set you both up for the truth and the trueness uh and the full potential of this union that's here very powerful one uh indeed and i would say just be ready to and open to receiving that be ready and open to receiving that knowing your full worth and be ready and willing to admit as well where you may have fallen short that has not allowed your self to come fully into this partnership this union and everything you're stepping into um, if you can do those two things have trust and faith and be willing to take a leap of faith and go all into this kind of scary situation uh, going through and risking right uh, judgment here king of swords nine of wands risking you know this person abusing their power or this person abusing their their freedom not being the man that they say they are right that's a big theme in this reading as well um, if you can be willing to risk that fear and that hurt and that trauma and move forward despite it you will have true happiness here and everything that was taken from you will be returned as well it's it's owed to you it's destined to come to you you only have to allow it in to be open to it and to know that you are worthy of it as well so scorpio that is oh, i'm sorry scorpio it's, no i was thinking scorpio gemini that is your um that is your monthly reading for march of 2022 hope you enjoyed as i said before if you want to go deeper we're going to go right into the extended reading you can find that in the description box below go into the insights around your person what they're feeling thinking their insights around this and anything you need to know for your highest good around that if you were inspired and resonated with this and you want a personal reading into your situation clarity about a twin flame your love situation soulmate i have personal readings on my website brandontobias.com you can find that description box below as well finally I have a brand new Tarot for the Soul 101 course and a Twin Flame workshop coming up hosted by myself and my Divine Feminine Paola on the 26th and 27th of March. Tickets for both of those are in early access and you can get them now. Don't wait anymore. Spots are limited. Both those in the description box. Check them out and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.